And please hear the crunch crunch munch munch. So welcome to my channel Asura's Kitchen. I have made this new recipe for you guys. It's called the crispy squid rings. I really hope that you guys will try this at home and let me know because I can promise you that it is the best squid recipe I ever had in my life. Now let's get started. So I've decided to make the squid rings a bit fancy but you can skip this process because it's just optional. So I'm just cutting all the way around these squid rings halfway through. Make sure it's not cut all the way through. This might look difficult to do but it's not because it actually took just 2 minutes to do all the squid rings. I think that looks so pretty now, look at that. Now add the squid rings into the egg mixture and coat it really well and set it aside. Now let's get the dry mixture ready and that's the special mixture that I prepared. I actually invented that and it's so amazing how it turned out. One cup of plain flour. So I made these crumbs out of Doritos crisp. So a cup of that. The best flavour to use is natural cheese or chili heat waves. I've not been sponsored for this item. About 1 teaspoon of baking powder, this will make it more crispy. Some chilli powder depends on how spicy you like it. 1 teaspoon dried parsley. 1 teaspoon of white pepper. And finally a pinch of salt to taste. Now let's combine all the spices together. Now I need to coat all these squid rings with this special mixture. This step is better if you do it individually but I'm doing it all together because I just can't wait to eat. As you can see because of the egg mixture, the dry mixture is covering really well and also it won't be separated when I actually fry them into the oil. I'm using fork to combine but you can use your hands. Once you're happy with the process then fry this into your preheated oil. If you enjoy watching my videos then please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Now it's time to fry the squid rings. Make sure you don't add too many in the pan because it can bubble up really high and it can be really dangerous. You really don't need to check anything or do anything, you just have to wait about 3 minutes or if you want a bit more crispy then wait for maybe 4 minutes and that's it, I'll be done. Now as you can see there are less bubbles and the squid rings has appeared on top and that's when you know they are done. If you have any questions then let me know in the comment box below. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video today and I hope you will try at home and let me know what you thought. I will be back with a new recipe hopefully within one or two weeks. If you have already subscribed to my channel then don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get notification of my new videos. Also check out my other recipes and do follow me on social media so Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I will see you in my next video. Bye!